Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from a very sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. I did not even put up a notice that I was going to be live right now. Um, I'm kind of under the gun time wise, so I thought I'm just going to go live and see what happens. Hopefully we'll have an okay time streaming tonight. For those of you that are watching later on YouTube, um, I've been we've been experiencing some very big problems with Facebook and live streaming these Facebook lives. It gets choppy and it freezes and so I'm hoping that by going on at an earlier time, what time is it? Oh, it's already six o'clock. I'm not even earlier. <laughs> We're hoping we'll have better luck. So I'll just go as far as I can. If I start freezing up, I'm gonna have to call it a night. Hello everybody, I see everyone popping in tonight. I was hoping to get on a little earlier, but that didn't happen. Um, yeah, so Haley and Jared are coming over for supper tonight. Steve is grilling cheeseburgers, he's making french fries, and um, they're bringing over little Miss Val, so I'm kind of excited. I thought, ooh, I better get on here and do my Facebook Live right away so that when the kids get here, I can have the rest of the evening to enjoy, right? And I've been working really hard today. I got three videos made. I just tried to upload my blog hop video for tomorrow and it failed. So, thought I was winning until that happened. So I'm gonna have to try that again. Oh my gosh, Linda says it's 107 today in Phoenix, Arizona, I should say. It's cold here. Like Steve went golfing and he said he got cold. So, yeah. Anyways, before we start having any problems, I wanted to show, I missed this little outfit, this box that Terry Mullinex sent. She sent some other little gifts for Haley and Jared, but I forgot to open this box. It was sitting on my desk, and then I think we started having problems, but I have, I have to show you this little outfit. I think I missed this one, and it is like the cutest little thing ever. Look at it. This is for little Miss Val. Oh my gosh, it is so sweet. And look at these little jeans. Like, <laughs> just the cutest little thing. I always like how they're so boxy for the diaper, right? So thank you so much, Terry. These were so sweet. And I'm glad that I am able to show this right now so I can give it to Haley and Jared when they get here, right? Yeah, I'm excited about that. Let me put that over by the door so I trip on it going out. Is it freezing again, you guys? If it's freezing, I just don't even know what I can do about that. Let me pull you up on my screen so I can at least see what you're seeing. Um, Where's my account? Right there. Okay. 37 in Marquette, Michigan. Connie says, oh my gosh. Burr. Chris is down in Phoenix too. 107 or Arizona, I should say. 107 there today. That sounds delicious to me. I know you guys probably hate it, but I love that heat. I really, really do. Okay, so I'm going to pull myself up on the screen. Uh, guess what I got today? I got my webcam. What? Yeah, look at how cute it is. Sweet little webcam. I have no idea how to use it because that's like the worst part about getting new technology is figuring it all out. I hate that part. Um, it is a C920X Pro HD webcam, and I'll figure it out. There's a little brochure in here, <laughs> like a teeny weeny little brochure. That's it. I'll get this figured out and hopefully start using it. It's not going to solve our freezing problems because that's a Facebook issue. Yeah. I'm watching myself online. Hang on a second. I just want to... See if I'm freezing up here. Yeah, I'm not freezing up on my own screen. So I think if I'm freezing up on your screen right at the moment, it's your issue. It's your internet. My internet's working good. Okay, so wanted to correct something I said the other day. I said that Steve, remember when I said he had his phone hooked up so it could stream music to the... Um, new stereo that's wireless and then he has a sound bar and all the things and I said how impressed he was I, I was because he's a pipe fitter and he doesn't really have a lot of technology uh, training but you guys I forgot he was a business agent for two terms and um, he was a business agent for the local plumbers and steam fitters union 
and I completely forgot about that. So he does have a little bit of technical knowledge, but it came very late in his career. And um, like I said, he was the business agent for two terms before he like said, I've had enough. <laughs> Politics, fun, right? No. So anyways, um, he did have a little technical training through that position that he held. Anyways, I wanted to get on with the cards that I got in the mail because I have some really pretty stuff to share. This one came from Priscilla Sietiwan from Granada Hills, California. And this is for Haley and Jared. So I'm glad I'm showing this to you so that I can give it to them. Look at how cute this is. Yeah, adorable, right? Look at that. Ah, yeah. Fun. This is like the card I'm sharing with you tomorrow for my blog hub. Now, that reminds me, tomorrow my newest online class goes live. It's a kit class and um, it uses the Buy the Doc bundle. That will be available possibly later tonight in my online button on the right, right hand side of my blog, but for sure before 6.30 tomorrow morning. That's when that blog hop with Ashley out of Canada is going to go live. Um, and you'll see a new kit class. So that's going to be fun. So I'm going to show this to you one more time. And it's got a gift card in here for the kids. So I am so appreciative. Thank you so much. Look at how cute that. Look at how cute that little gift card holder is with that egg and that little dinosaur hatching, right? Super, super cute. So I'm going to give this, I'm going to put this back in here for Haley and Jared. So I can give it to them when they come over. They're going to love it. All right, and then I got a card also from Priscilla, and it's a Mother's Day card. Look how pretty this is. She sent me a Mother's Day card, and that is so sweet. I actually gave my Mother's Day card to my mom when she was here, So, um, and I gave her her gift. I gave her a ton of birthday and get well sympathy cards, because that's what she said she needed, so I gave her a whole box full. And... Um, this card from Priscilla says, Hi Kelly, just wanted to send you and Haley some happy mail. If anything, it gave me an extra reason to craft. I love that. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day and Grandma's Day. I have really enjoyed your Facebook Lives. I'll be going back to work on May 4th, but you can bet I'll still keep up with your lives. They will be the highlight of my days. You have become one of my favorite people I have not met. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I love that. So anyways, um... She said she just bought the Country Club online class and she can't wait. So she wanted to contribute towards my million dollars. Thank you so much. That is just so sweet. I absolutely love your card. It's very simple, but very, very pretty. I like simple and elegant. And sometimes that's a really hard thing to achieve when you're card making, right? All right, let me put this back. I've got other mail. I don't know how much mail I want to go through because we might lose our signal, right? This is from, uh, oh, I ripped the thing. Jerry Laurie, I believe. Yes, Jerry Laurie. Look at how cute it is inside. Whoops. <laughs> she put a little insert in and then left it blank so I can use it. And I always love that, right? It says, thank you for letting me be part of your Facebook family. You truly are a blessing. Can't wait to watch the grandma journey as you spoil little Miss Valerie. From one grandma to another, it's the best journey. How super duper sweet. And this says, hello, little one. Look how pretty that is. And no one loves like a grandma. Congratulations on the birth of your beautiful new grandbaby. How sweet are you, Jerry? Thank you so much. Then I got another, let's see, I got a package here. Oh, I'm glad I'm opening this too because I can give this to Haley and Jared. This is a gift for Haley and Jared. Here's the adorable little card. Isn't that sweet? And it says, Haley, just a little gift for your precious Valerie. Glad you are all well. Take care of each other and enjoy every moment. Hugs, Trudy Hudson. Look how pretty that inside is too. And this is what she sent. They're little hand knit washcloths and this yarn is so so soft the kids are gonna love this for bath time so thank you so much Trudy I'm going to put this in back in the envelope whoops let me not wreck it how about that let's put these in here 
and then I'll get the card in there. And I will set that over with the other box for Haley and Jared so I don't lose track of it. And, oh, this is for Haley and Jared also. Hang on. we are. I already showed you that one. Then I got a card. Look at how cute this is. Love this. Yeah. This says, what happens at Grandma's stays at Grandma's. And it says, Kelly, congrats on your unbelievable month and celebration. You go, girl. Thanks for all you do. I am truly grateful. So happy for you all. Enjoy every moment with that baby girl. And this is from my upline, Ann Hebner. And she sent me a handmade mask. And you guys, if you remember, Stampin' Up! Once Upon a Time had fabric. This is Stampin' Up! Ribbon and Stampin' Up! Fabric. How cool is that, right? I thought that was really neat. And then, let's see, this card was from Phyllis Williams. It says, thank you for the beautiful card which you made and sent to me for my 90th birthday. Do you remember we sent out some birthday cards? Um, it was a wonderful day and God blessed me over and over. I received over 130 cards, seven of which was from my team. So thank you again for making my day extra special. And she says, P.S., I used to do stamping, too, until my fingers wouldn't do it anymore. And Phyllis, I believe, is at an assisted living facility, and she sent me this little thank you card. How sweet was that, right? I just sent her a card, and some of my team members sent cards, because we do, we do nice things like that from time to time, where somebody asks for um, some cards to be sent out. Oh, and then I've already shown you this one, so I don't need to do that one again. Hang on. Let's see. Did I show you guys this one? Look how beautiful that is. Oh, my goodness. It says, you're someone's blessing. Every time a baby is born, so is a grandma. Congratulations on the birth of your beautiful new grandbaby. Look at how pretty that is. Right? That is just the sweetest little thing. It says, Kelly and Steve, I'm so excited for both. For you both over the birth of your new grandbaby, I know how much you will cherish this new baby. My grandchildren have been such a blessing from heaven above for me. Please give my congratulations to Haley and Jared. Valerie will be a blessing to all of you. And this was from Teresa Harper. Thank you so much. I just love, this is the Seaside Spray, I believe. And I love the colors, right? It's just so pretty. All right, let me put that over here and we're going to do one more. Oh, I completely destroyed this card. So you know how sometimes you put the envelope slitter in the card and it like tears the top of the card. Barb Yeager. Ugh, I'm so disgusted that this happened. Let me see if I can tape this back together so it doesn't look like, oh, I think I did it. <laughs> look how cute it is. This is one of those panel cards, and I completely destroyed the top of it, and I'm so sorry. And it had Baker's Twine on it, and that came off too. Totally my fault, Barb. It was nothing with your card. It says, just a note, thank you. I used the layout you presented on your Split Coast Stampers tutorial for this card. I just love your layout. Thank you for keeping us busy at this time. Stay safe and well, Barbara Yeager. I love how she put the gold um, glimmer paper under her B black layer, right? So very, very cool card. Thank you so much. We've got another one here with the butterflies and the foil paper. Look how pretty that is. This is from Mary Lynn Weller. And it says, congratulations, Grandma, and hello, baby. Wishing you and your growing family the very best. Look how cute that is. Yeah. Love this. Thank you so much, Mary Lynn. I love these butterfly dies. They're just beautiful. And then I got a really cute card. This is from Kathy Meadowcroft. Look at This is the actual card. And it says, I can't wait to see your face again, which I thought was super cute. And it's um, a paper card. Just a cute little thing that looks like a mask, right? Yeah, I thought this was really sweet. It says, hi, Kelly, congratulations on the grandbaby. I hope you get to enjoy her safely. Tell Haley congratulations. Maybe someday she'll bring her to a card buffet if we ever get back to normal. Congrats, Kathy. Thank you so much. This is so cute. I can't wait to see your face again. I love it. Okay, I think that we are going to stop.
stop there so that we can start stamping before we run into streaming issues, right? Because I hate for that to happen. Oh, oops, I've got another card here that I will do the next time I'm on. Now, are we ready to stamp, you guys? I have um, a whole rainbow color, a whole rainbow of cards to show you, to make for you. I'm only making one, but I made them in all the um, newest in colors, not the new ones in the new catalog. Oh, which, by the way, where did that go? Oh, my Lord. I should have, did you guys see how excited I was? Steve brought the catalog in today. He went and got the mail. And he goes, oh, I know you want this. And he comes in and hands it to me. And I was like, ah! so excited. It has a little brochure in it. This is our new beginner brochure. And the catalog is here. I have not opened it yet because I was super busy today trying to get the things done that need to be done. Um, I still need to go through emails, you guys. And that is absolutely next on my list, I think, because I just got my videos done today. My Technique Club cards are going to be going out tomorrow. My swap cards for my team meeting are done. So I'm whittling away at my list, right? And so I haven't even opened my catalog because that's something that I want to sit down and cherish. I don't want to do it when I'm like stressed and having to hurry. So my order, Linda, is arriving tomorrow. I got my order in yesterday, I believe, and I put a second day air on it. And I will be doing an unboxing for you guys whenever UPS comes tomorrow. So I'm excited about that, right? Okay, let's flip. <laughs> Sue says, holy cow, I can't wait to get my catalog. I know, right? Um, I know that my friend Barb doesn't have hers. She's in Wyoming. She doesn't have hers. I don't think Dina got hers today. Um, I haven't heard from any of my other team members, I don't think, that have their catalogs that are in Wisconsin. So they're coming tomorrow, tomorrow. Hopefully, gosh, I hate, I would hate it if you didn't get it tomorrow because then you have to wait till Monday, right? Urgh. All right, we're going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy card with the in colors and the beautiful in color ribbon and the designer series paper. Hang tight. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I don't want anybody throwing up. And here we go. I can't wait to get that webcam working. That's going to be really cool. And I want you guys to close your eyes right now. I'm going to clean off my um, lens, so hang tight. I noticed the other day that my lens, oh, that didn't look that good. Is it, is it good again? I don't know if that looks better or not. My lens was looking um, a little dusty, like streaky. Okay, I think we're good. I think that's going to be okay. So today I decided to use the Happy Tales stamp set. This is retiring. It has a punch. This is called the Dog Builder Punch, which is, I'll turn it over so it doesn't glare at you. Super, super cute. The punch I don't think is retiring, but the stamp set is. And then I decided to use... The 2019-2021 um, in colors. So we've got Pretty Peacock, um, uh, Purple Posy. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? Um, um, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and Terracotta Tile. These are some beautiful papers. Now, each one of these has a gingham side and then an argyle side. And let me grab the other pattern. Then we have the scripty writing and this design. And you get two of each of these in each of the colors, I think. There's a total of 40 in there. So, I don't know. Math is really hard. So yeah, four times... I don't know how, how much you get. You get 40 sheets. Who can do that math? I can't do the math right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing the math. Okay, so here's what I came up with. Now, I have to tell you, I got this idea for the layout on this card from a bunch of cards that my good friend Kathy Miller made for me. I needed a bunch of cards, and she made me up a bunch of cards. 
And this is where the layout's coming from. So when we're finished, she gets all the kudos for that. I have a piece of five and a half by eight and a half whisper white thick cardstock. That's gonna be our card base. And then I took a piece, this is the um, Purple Posy. Yes, Purple Posy. This is the designer paper. It's two by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of Purple Posy cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. I've got a scrap of Purple Posy, two and a half by six inch piece of the designer series paper, an envelope, and then I die cut one of these large ovals from the stitched shape ovals, okay? So this is just really quick and easy. This card is just amazingly quick. The layout for it is great. You could use it for a lot of things, but what I wanted to do was show you all the designer series paper being used. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a dry fit here so I can stamp my words because I did happen to stamp those all messed up once and I had to rip my card apart. So it's always better not to glue anything together. I'm going to, I don't know if I wanna use forever, friends forever. Nope, I think I'm going to use so sorry for your loss. And this stamp set is so nice. One of the things that I have coming up is I know somebody who's probably going to be getting a dog soon. And so I wanna have a card to give to them. Um, but, you always need those sympathy cards for pet for dog lovers when they lose a pet, right? And so I decided I made some of them that said friends forever, forever, and then some of them that said so sorry for your loss. And I'm just using black memento ink. So now since I could stamp that correctly and <laughs> didn't mess it up, now I'm going to put my designer series paper right over to the far left edge here. And you guys know that we have this beautiful linen ribbon that matches our in colors. And this is the 2019-2021 in colors. Let me get that hair out of there. Um, they, these are all retiring. All these beautiful linen ribbons in the in color, the, the older in color, or the newer in colors are, re, are retiring. So I wanted to make sure that I did something with them to let you know whether you need them or not, right? If you look at this and go, hmm, I have some ribbon like that, that's fine. But if you look at it and go, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful, which is what I would do, then you may need to add it to your order. And I looked right before I came on live, they're all still in stock. So I got that one kind of crooked. Hang on, I hate it when that happens. There we go. And kind of tight. I don't like it when it's kind of tight either. All right. Here it is. Okay, there we go. Super, super easy. Now what I'm gonna do, where did that oval go? Right here. We're gonna take the oval and I'm just going to put some glue on both sides of it like that. And we're gonna put that right in the middle. If Kathy's watching, Kathy, are you recognizing this layout at all? <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so happy to find the cards that she made so that I could do this because this is quick and easy. Haley and Jared are gonna be here any minute. And Steve has ha the cheeseburgers ready to go on the grill. So I know he's just waiting for them to arrive. He said they'd be here about 6.30. So I thought I've got time for Facebook Live and we'll just keep rolling until they get here. How's that sound, you guys? Now, I'm gonna take this dog and I am going to stamp it with the black ink right on the purple posy paper. And bring that punch in here. There we go. You also get that cute little heart. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, I love that thing. Now I'm gonna add some dimensionals. Oh, here they are. I was gonna say, if I could find them. there. Don't worry, I have lots. If I can't find this pack, I can find some others. So I was really excited this morning because I went into our room where we have all the junk piled up and I found my summer clothes bins and got out some of my summer clothes. You might notice that I'm wearing a very bright, pretty coral color. Yes, indeed. Look at how easy is that? 
right? Now, you can decorate up the inside. I think what I'm going to do here is add this little heart right down here. It's going to give me lots of room, and that might be just a little bit too much glue, so hang on. Just a cute little heart, lots of room to write in there. Hang on while I find a tissue in the garbage. Oh, I forgot to wash my hands, you guys. I'm so sorry. I was making videos. Look at, look at how dirty I am. It's all blue ink. I was making videos today where I was sponging and daubering with blue ink, so I'm kind of a disaster. I was going to wash my hands, and I just forgot. Isn't that a simple card? Like, it's so simple. Now, you could jazz it up and do whatever else you might want to do, but I just thought this would look really, really cool. Oh, let's do our envelope, and then I'll show you the whole rainbow of cards that I made. Some of them, like I said, are dog sympathy cards, and some of them I'm going to use to write congratulations. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had a very close family friend whose house burned um, a couple months ago, and she lost two dogs in the fire and it was just like the whole thing was just so sad she is a divorced mom she's got two kids she's just been through the ringer with the divorce that was just beyond messy i can't even it's like you wouldn't even believe it and um then her house burns her dog one of them was an older dog that she's had forever and just adored look how cute that is and then she had gotten a puppy that they've had for maybe about a month that also perished in the fire. And they're they're trying to find, um, a, well, they want to get a new puppy now. And they went back to the same place where they got the puppy before. It was a little foo-foo dog. And uh, they had one all picked out. And, and you know, they it was getting, the, the breeder weaned it from the mom and it did not thrive. And the puppy died. Like, are you kidding me? So, whenever I think about my minor little things going on in my life that are annoying me or stressing me out or whatever, I always remember it can be worse. And while losing, you know, losing a puppy and the kids had to go through that, they've been getting pictures of the puppy this whole time and just can't wait to welcome this puppy into their family and that puppy died. So I always just remember it can always be worse, right? And I know people have a lot of struggles going on, but I am going to give her and the kids not a sorry for your pet loss because that's over this one of these cards that say friends forever and congratulate them on their new puppy when the new puppy arrives and now I have cards for more new dogs adding to the family and also I've got three sympathy cards for pet owners so that Oh, the ribbon is in the new catalog. Did you just say that? I didn't realize that. Thank you for telling me that. I'm just looking at some comments right now. So hang on. I want to go look at this ribbon because I thought it was retiring. I'm sorry. Oh. Da, 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 da. I know the colors aren't retiring, but the dog stamp set is retiring. So let's... Oh, it's not retiring. Look, I don't have it circled. Okay, great. Thank you for correcting me on that. I really appreciate it because I never want to tell you guys something wrong. I just assumed it would because it almost always does. Well, I guess last year's ribbon didn't retire either, so I should have known better. But anyways, love this ribbon. This paper is retiring, and I also love that. And isn't it cool with the matching envelopes? I just love doing that. I These are so cool looking. This would be a good masculine card for somebody who gets a dog that's a man. Or maybe just acts like a man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then the terracotta tile. The seaside spray. And then this purple posy. I love these. What do you guys think? Ah! Make sure you click on that share button. That really helps me out. Sharing my video actually helps me grow my business. I really appreciate it. And then one other thing I wanted to show you with this dog set. Where did my? Here's my piercing mat is let's stamp this dog because I think this is really cool. We're going to stamp the dog again and then I'll clean this off. If you need a stamp cleaner and you don't have one of these chamois yet, they're $8. Get yourself one on your next order because they are the most amazing thing ever. I love them. Now I'm going to take out the Pokey Dotty one and this actually turns your dog into 
a, whoops, hang on, into a Dalmatian or a spotted dog. So let's see, how does this, I want to see how this works. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Is that the right way? I don't know. Does anybody know how to do this? Maybe it doesn't. What? What did I do? Help, help. I thought I was going to be so smart here, but I'm not being smart at all. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Let's try it. It just looks like it doesn't fit. Okay, so I'm glad I'm doing this for you so that when you open it, if you struggle with it like I did, you will go, oh, yeah, Kelly had some issues too. Let's see what I can do. <gasps> I did it. Look how cute that is. It's a Dalmatian. Who doesn't love a purple Dalmatian? <laughs> Yeah, I would probably maybe do it black and white, but whatever. There we go. Here's our cute Dalmatian dog. That is so sweet. I love it. Okay, so I just wanted you to know what that did in here. And then we've got, you can make um, different parts on the dog, I think. You can stamp and make different colors. Like this probably goes on the chest, this maybe the ear, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> that wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks for laughing with me or at me. I'm good with either way. Here's my dog cards. I thought you would enjoy those. I actually did not pick a winner from our Facebook Live last night because I kind of forgot. I was excited that I was going to be able to get on here. And I wasn't sure because if Haley and Jared came over, then you guys would have to... I would have to wait till way later to do this because I didn't want to rush them in or out. But there you go. There's dog cards. I am good for a while. And now I'm going to put these. I have a little place on my shelf going down to the basement where I have boxes of cards. And I have them all categorized for me to use personally. So if anybody has any problems with a pet, I got a card for you. <laughs> all right. Happy Tales is retiring. The cat stamp set, I believe, is also, let's look that up, because I think it's retiring, but now that I made that mistake with the ribbon, who knows? We're going to look up the Nine Lives. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on the retirement list. Nine Lives is on page 105, and it is. Both of them are. That's what I thought. This and this, and the little wiggle worm. That's retiring, too. But both the Happy Tales and the Nine Lives are retiring. So, But they're keeping the punches. So, And I haven't looked through the new catalog to any extent to know that... I'm pretty sure there's some new stamp sets in the new catalog to go with these. But I'm not going to say 100% because I don't want to give you bad information. My, you know my memory is just terrible. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do a little experiment right now. We're going to turn the phone back around because we noticed that when I turned the phone back around on me, that's when it started breaking up last night. Hang tight. We're going to do a little flip here and we're going to see if my streaming is all messed up or if it's good. Do I send cards to Australia, Vicki? No, I don't. <gasps> I was hoping you would be here. Okay, so I got stuff laying on the floor for you guys. Guess who's here? <gasps> Val is here, and I just, like, finished up and turned around. <laughs> look at her, look at her. She's so cute. Okay, here, let me stand up. There we go. Look, we're matching today. How did you do that? Look how cute we are. <laughs> Read her onesie. What's her onesie say? It says, you ain't cool unless you pee your pants. <laughs> Look at how sweet she is. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. Oh, she's going to get mad at me because I'm manhandling her. Look at her. Look at her face is all squished. There we go. There's the pickle. Wake up now. You're on TV. Come on. Look at her cute little socks. Are that are sucks. so big. Yeah. Look at how big they are. Her little feet are just so tiny. She's got those long little fingers. <gasps> oh, yes. Grandma's in heaven. Okay, you guys can go. I'll just be here for a couple more minutes. Yeah, so, gosh, it smells good out there, too. I have presents for you guys. Yay! <laughs> Did you 
see that? I can't believe they're leaving me in here alone with her. <laughs> yeah, she's just the sweetest little thing ever, isn't she? And we are kind of matching today. Yeah. So anyways, am I breaking up? Am I, is it is the sound okay right now that we're that I turn the phone back around? I'm thinking that it is, you guys. So that whole idea that it was when I turned the phone around, that's when the streaming went bad. I just really think it's an internet thing right now or a Facebook thing. And the other night, the word that I was looking for was all the servers are being overloaded with everybody home and, you know, streaming TV through the whole internet. Oh, it says frozen up. I'm not frozen up on my screen, though, Cheryl. She says she's frozen up, but I'm not. So, mm, the food smells really good. Yeah. Isn't she just this sweet? I can't believe they just left me because they haven't left her any place. <laughs> and Julie says, thanks again, Kelly. Just makes me baby hungry. I know, right? She's so precious. Yeah, I'm just so grateful that they can come over here and I can go to their house. Last night I went over to their house. We had movie night. I ate a huge bowl of popcorn and sour patches. And we watched Long Shot with Charlize Theron and is it Zach Zephanopoulos or whatever? That funny guy. It was pretty cute. It was a cute movie. I got home about 11.30. Precious baby, are you gonna wake up for us? Look at she's gonna wake up. Yeah, come on. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for sharing the video. I will be back tomorrow when my pre order comes and we'll unbox it together because that's super exciting, right? Uh, did I try a new surge protector? Um, no like what should be plugged into a new surge protector because my phone is not that shouldn't matter because my phone isn't I mean it's plugged into an electrical outlet right now just so that it doesn't run out of power but I don't I don't think that's I don't know yeah I'm not gonna say anything because I just really don't know yeah I know she is beautiful, isn't she? Terry, you're on here. Thank you for that cute little outfit. I showed everybody tonight in case you missed it. Haley and Jared are going to love it. I'm going to show it to them right now. Belle, yeah, are you going to wake up? Huh? Gosh, don't you just want to wake them up? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go so I can go visit with my family. And um, we'll leave you with this look. Like, oh my lord, is she just the cutest little thing ever? Yeah, and she's out like a light. I like it. Have a good evening. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.